don't even know we're going to go and kill them. <laughs> but, you know, they're kind of old guys, right? And eventually they'll be gone. And eventually it's going to be your problem. And that's, that's not in 50 years time, or 100 years time, it's in 10 years time. And so, for those of you who are, want to do these things, you have to think, okay, if I'm going to be in charge in 10 years, maybe 20 years time, what do I need to do today to start thinking about how we, as a country or how we as a society or we as camposeros or we as geeks or we as you know whatever um, what do we have to do to prepare for when we're when it's my problem I think the we spend the technology world spends too much time thinking in six months or one year you know when's the next iPhone going to come out oh next year oh great you know, when's the next iPad coming out, or next year? You know, and we don't, we can't think of te about technology past two or three years. That's silly. But we can think about the, the the effects on society. We don't know what the next iPad is going to look like. But what we can start to do is think about what it means when everybody has an iPad or everybody has a phone which has the internet on it. You know, these, the, the, you see these boxes up here on the scaffolding? Those, those, see those square boxes? That's the new 4G testing thing. You see the guys over there who do it? That's a, a hundred meg? So, and the, well, maybe, <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> but the thing is, is when I was first on the internet, or well, first online, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, my modem was 300 bits a second. Yeah? And, and 1,200 slash 75, that was incredibly fast. And then we went to 2,400 you know, 2, bits a second. You know, 0 0.02 meg, no, 0 0.00, 0, 0, whatever it was. You know, small, right? <laughs> really, really slow. And now, I have 20 megabytes to my house, and it's whatever. We don't know what the, what, what the phone is going to look like in three years' time. But we do know it's going to do cool things. And we can, it's easy to say, in 20 years' time, everybody will have a, poc a thing in their pocket which gets them 100 meg. Or a gigabit. We can make that prediction. So we have to think now, not what do we do about these old guys right now, because yeah, fuck them, they'll be dead in 20 years. <laughs> what we have to think about is, what are we going to do when everybody has a gigabit connection to one of these? <coughs> I mean, do you remember what phones were like 10 years ago? Yeah? They were kind of rubbish, right? Oh. So think what this is going to look like in 10 years' time. We already know, like from Moore's law, that said, you know Moore's law, yeah. Of course you do. You're geeks, right? Okay, so <laughs> that's a stupid question. <laughs> do you know about computers? Yes, man. <laughs> Have you heard about this thing? We call it the internet. <laughs> so these are how much are these? These are like four hundred pounds, I think. You know, or six hundred dollars. Yeah. 10,000 pesos, I don't, how much are they? Yeah. 10,000 pesos, okay. Yes. So in 10 years time, the same technology, if it halves every 18 months, so 500, it's going to be basically 20 pesos. You know, they'll be giving these away for free with cornflakes, you know. Ah, you know. <laughs> you know, like, oh, shit, another iPhone, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know. In 10 years, yeah? So let's not think about the gadget, let's just think about what happens when these are free with conflicts. What does that do to the country? What does that do to the world? You know? So this is what we have to do. We have to start thinking about what is it we can build 
which might be slow and difficult now, but in 10 years' time, when you're running your cities or when you're CEOs of your companies or when you're professors at your universities or whether you're, you know, professional wrestlers, I don't know, whatever it is you want to do, I'd love to see that. <laughs> El Geek. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Genius. Um, <laughs> you know, whatever it is you're doing in 10 years' time, everything you can think of now will be possible. Everything you can think of. So we have to start thinking about what we're going to build to make sure that we don't lose the economy again, or we don't lose the, the ecology, or we, we do something about so, so all of the social problems that we have in every country. Not just Mexico or America, but everywhere. Everywhere has problems, of course. So. We can do something about it. And the thing is, is that the world is changing in a way which is only, which is technology driven, is internet driven. So the only people who can do something in that world are people who understand that world. Yes? Understand? You are those people. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but it's your problem now. <laughs> like, you're, you're the guys. You know the A-team? You know the, the A-team? You know the B.A. Baracus? You know? Yeah? You know what I mean? Yeah? You're the A-team. <laughs> you're Batman. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> you know, you, it's your job to save the world now, because you're the only people who understand the world now. I know that's really scary, but it's kind of true. Do we have any more questions? Man in the front, please. Oh, oh, there's one over here with a microphone. Oh, sorry. No, I can't. Shh. It's not really a question. It's more like a concern. It is about the quality of 